Greetings from sunny and toasty Athens. I hope everyone is enjoying their August and they're somewhere on the islands, not in the cities. So today I'm deciding to talk a little bit about property management, residential property management and the seasons. So I will point out what is the season, high season and low season for residential long-term rentals and high season and low season for res residential short let or Airbnb apartments. So, and I want to point out several challenges because property management is actually the worst part or <laughs> the most painful part uh, in the real estate industry because you have to deal with the daily challenges or the weekly challenges uh, of, you know, um, interfering with the tenants, interfering with the, uh, you know, uh, breaking some boilers or, you know, pest controls or anything like that. So when you have, gather a big portfolio of residential apartments and it's diverse, then there will be always, maybe on a daily basis, there will be something that you'll have to deal with and solve it on the spot. So, you know, it's good to know about the seasons uh, in real estate and the residential rentals and then on that basis you can prevent some of the challenges or some of the problems that apartments can bring you and uh, you will not need to uh, deal with anxiety or last minute issues. So on a long term basis for example we have two high seasons which one first it starts soon in September so September is mostly a uh, long-term season and it starts September until uh, end of October. And that's where you can rent all your, rent, all your apartments that are mainly available you know, during the summer. And um, why September is a good season? Because July and August is a very relaxed uh, month and nobody is planning to you know, change, move house or, you know, um, start a new rental. So it, it this affects or it kind of helps for us to predict, you know, the fluctuation and the invasion <laughs> of, let's say, students into the big cities, for example. So if you're in a big city or a capital that has uh, universities and, you know, it has schools and everything, you should know that September is the high season on the rentals. So you will know that you will rent your apartment and you will have a higher chance on renting your apartment or a higher chance to get higher rent uh, on that apartment starting from end of August until end of October, let's say. So. September is a high season um, due to the fact that everyone is coming back from holidays and they have to decide about which region they will leave uh, if, they are need, if they need to move. And of course, we have already clarity on the students because in August they receive notification which university they will attend to, which campus. So on that basis, they will just, you know, canvas the region. Uh, next to the university, most probably one mile radius from the university and the campus they are enrolled to. And it's the same with the, uh, you know, schools and also, you know, professionals that work for big corporates. Normally they're on holiday in August, so when they come back from holiday, they're taking decision where it will be their next home. So September is a fantastic time for you to deal with it. Then second high season, in long-term rentals is January, also impacted by the second quarter uh, of the university applications. And then it, it ends up around March, okay? So this is the two high seasons and then all the rest goes into low. So it go up and down, yeah? So it's like the end of August, September, bam, bam, bam. And then like end of September until end of October goes down and then November is, almost like a dead month. So very low season for long-term rental is December and um, June, July and August. So these are low um, terms for long-term rentals. You, you almost can't rent anything or even if you rent it will be on low like lower price than 
normal or than you would desire. So what I normally advise, I advise that whatever properties, if they're furnished and they have, you know, every all the um, amenities inside, you could rent that particular property for short term rental until you reach September, because from the hour perspective, the short term rentals uh, on the residential side, uh, the high season is when the low season is for long term rental. So for Airbnbs and Booking.com and all this, you know, um, hospitality side accommodations, the high season is the other way around. So high season starts in June and it finishes at the end of September and then it starts in the middle of December and it finishes in the middle of Feb, like around January actually, not February. So uh, it, this is like months that like complete each other between the short term and the long term basis. And it's quite convenient if your apartment, you know, is fully uh, furnished and it has all the amenities inside so that you can take advantage of the short term rental uh, while, you know, it's a low season for the long term rental. So you can, you know, still fill up the gap and, you know, um, get rid of the void period and still earn some rent on the low season when on the long short term rental, short, on long term rental, sorry. So that's, you know, the months that you play. So for those who have or run portfolio on short term basis, we normally say that we work four months a year <laughs> and the rest of the months we relax because the short term rental is literally four months a year season, which is June, July, August and middle of December until middle of January. This is four months a year where you maximize your income and you get as much as you can because everyone travels and you know book their holidays in these particular days. So for the rest of the months, you know, the you have to focus on the long-term rentals and you know dealing with the other issues. Now I want to talk about seasons in real estate and property management because it's a very important trick and important detail. So each month in each country or each season in each country will bring uh, several obstacles or difficulties on the property management side. So let's say, for example, let's start with summer. Okay. So from, from June until end of September, the summer months, uh, the properties will deal with several issues. So normally you have uh, most of the time using the air conditioner, um, which is taking a lot of capacity of the electricity. And if your cables or electricity is not set up, or if you don't have air conditioner, then you will have to lastminute.com install it and pay sometimes even double. Yes. And as well, from the property management perspective, if you have a big portfolio like we do, like over 200 apartments in Athens, the high season for cockroaches, bed bags, and all this type of insects, they appear in the house, they come out during the summer. So uh, when you have two or 300 apartment portfolio, there will always be one or two apartments that will have a bed bug or a cockroach infestation. I know it's disgusting, but it's a part of our job. And unfortunately, you know, you have to deal with it. So normally you have to have handy uh, pest control company and that it's available for you, or you can actually try to do that in March or May, do a pest like a prevention for the pests. Yeah. So if you do that in May and prepare the apartment for the summer, then during the summer, you'll not have last minute dot com, uh, you know, situations where your tenants will have uh, to suffer from, you know, bed bug infestation or uh, cockroaches, let's say. Now going to the next season, next season, you have the autumn like September until like uh, November yeah and uh, September November we have a different phenomenon uh, it's mostly many countries rainy and also we have uh, when the climate changes from the hot into the cold around like end of October November we have all the mice coming <laughs> in from the fields invading the, the buildings. So if you manage to put 
traps or different chemicals that will prevent uh, mice infestation uh, from uh, before, then you'll not need to deal with the lastminute.com mice infestation, uh, mice, <laughs> you know, occupancy into your apartment so like september to november this is like the major issue that you're normally dealing with it and sometimes if you have apartments in the basement and they have dump issues that's when you'll start to have you know some sort of dump um, problems so it's better if you solve that particular walls during the summer and you do the hydro insulation or whatever needs to be done during the summer so that the wall gets dry and it doesn't appear or doesn't get the issue during the uh, during the autumn um, season now winter season is the opposite of the summer but it has similar issues so winter season is mostly you have the heating system if you have a modern you know a, a boiler and it's like a central centralized heating and stuff so uh, because of the high capacity you will have one or two boilers for sure breaking and then they need fixing so sometimes you know one or two boilers will um, stop working stop heating or uh, you know drip start dripping we had situation like that when they create like a small hole and it was dripping. And if you do it lastminute.com, then it's much difficult to find specialists and find the service. So if you do the boiler service, let's say in November, then that will be off season. You will find more specialists that are available to assist you with this problem. And also you might pay a little bit cheaper. Yeah. So spring, is the other uh, other problem spring is mostly dealing with the moisture and you know the uh, the climate change between very hot into warm and so on because it's like um the weather is lying to you one day is hot one day is warm but it's also keeping up with the difficulties from the winter because the walls and the houses are still cold so you're still using the boiler and the heaters and the air conditioner in, if you don't have central heating um, to warm up the place so if you do the services in before the season starts the season difficult season on the boiler breaking or the difficult season on uh, pest control uh, infestation or difficult season on air conditioner breaking up or having um, didn't have the service or not enough uh, liquid to cool it down then you'll be able to have a easier transpass through the seasons without stressing into lastminute.com so it, there is always they were always saying that it's better to prevent the problem than have it so if you you know decided in you know prevent the problem and not having the stress then you know use my advice and serve your air conditioners uh, you know around may um, put the pace pest control and everything as well April May so that you don't have you know space for uh, cockroaches infestation um, set up the traps during the summer so that the mice doesn't come into your house and of course check uh, do a uh, annual maintenance of your boilers and air conditioners uh, around November which is like super off season for you so thank you very much for listening to my podcast and let me know if you want me to talk about anything else and share with you all my experiences about property management. I will be very happy to point out stuff and, you know, share my secrets. So text me underneath the video or send me an email and I'll be happy to make a customized video um, to assist you with your struggles. Thank you.